about that. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're just finding out that this is the first time Jerry Jackson has been on our show, and I, I'm I remiss to, to not invite What'd you. What'd she call me? Virgin on the show. <laughs> Virgin. 726 Virgin. Here we go. And we usually treat our first And you're not. I mean, you're you not. <laughs> you've been okay. On the you've been on the Are show Are we really before. going there? I'm trying to, trying to go right across No, I haven't that. either, actually. Have, Have you, you never not, been on the show Haven't you been in the okay. studio with no. someone? <clears throat> well, I don't know where well, that came from. Of course, okay, all the confetti parties. and fanfare. Yeah, yeah. Glad to have you here. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are here. It's to good talk, to be here. You guys are here to talk about, a, you know, I, I appreciate the marketing aspect of what you guys do more than anything else. Cool. The 20 is plenty. It sounds mm -hmm. so simple. Mm -hmm. And how many years have you been doing this? Three, I'd say four, this is five. Five years? When you say five. Yeah. And, and let, me, let me tell you how that came about. Okay, okay. When we uh, When we first, first of all, it was probably 10, 12 years ago. I was serving on the hospice board. Mm -hmm. And um, we had, uh, at the board at that time, we raised probably five to $10,000 a year just to supplement some things. And we had a request from uh, the hospital to purchase these machines. Have you ever heard this story? No, I have not. Purchase these machines that would allow patients to get medication at a certain time of day. And mm -hmm. only that time, the little door would open. And the machines were $800 each, and they wanted four of them, and that's $3,200. And like I said, we raised five to $10,000 annually, so that was most of our yearly budget. Right. Most of the people on the board were volunteers that sat with patients. I was not. And so I didn't understand what they were asking for, and I asked them, I questioned, why do we need these machines? It seems like we can just leave the pills or whatever. We can't do that because the drug-addicted kids mm -hmm. will take their mother's me pain medication. Ah. Oh, How sad. Okay. Now, I mean, that's now sad. think about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, uh, and, and of course, that knocked me over. I couldn't believe it happened. They assured me it happens a lot more than you think. Um, so I had to believe it happened. Well, then probably five years later, Catherine Nance, you know Catherine Nance? She came into my office and she told me the story about a lady down in Searcy County. We cover five counties. She, uh, she was dying. She had no running water, no electricity. Mm -hmm. It was just her on a cot. Now think about that. And that's when Catherine says, I want a hospice house. And then she went off to Colorado for two years and we built a hospice house. We built a house. So that's how that happened. Okay. But, but back to the 20 is plenty. You, once we built the house, we knew, and, and the main purpose of what we do is we take care of the patients. We pay for the patients that can't pay for themselves. We made that commitment to NARMC that we would do that. The first month that we were open at the house, we had no idea what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever gotten a lot of things accomplished because you didn't know you could do Absolutely. it? Absolutely. It's amazing it's, it's what happens. Way, it, it really is. It, it really is. Afterwards, you think, oh my God, look what I did. Mm -hmm. And, you know, starting out, you yeah. didn't have a clue. Yeah. But we had a lady that needed pain medication that was not approved by Medicare. Yeah. And it came to $24,000. We had no money. We were flat yeah. broke. And we, we told the hospital, we made an agreement, we were going to pay for this. So we, we had to come up with something. And it told mm -hmm. us, we got to come up with something that we can do every year. Mm -hmm. And we knew the community was behind us. And there came, there came 20 is plenty. is plenty. And it's amazing, the tens of thousands. Right. Um, that guy over there just gave me that. Mm -hmm. You know? And we, it's we so literally. Easy to do. I mean, it's just a, it, it just works. Just works. I mean, you know, so many, so many organizations says we need to make twenty thousand dollars. So we want your biggest donation. That's not what this is all we about. We don't even ask for big donations. We, we yeah. now believe me, we do get other donations. Sure, I bet you do. But we ask for the twenty dollars. Ninety-five percent. Come in here, Rhonda. Ninety-five percent comes from the twenty-dollar donations. Wow. Twenty-dollar really? donations. Wow. Yeah. And it's incredible because people want to be a part of it. They yeah. want to know I helped build that. Yeah. yeah. And it's and it's, it's so cost awesome. uh, uh, restrictive if they know they can't give more and and you're asking right. for more. Right. Exactly. This is this is expendable money that they have. So it's it's it's. They well, feel they're as big a part sure. as everybody else. Yeah. And exactly. they are and because they are. that's your cap off. I mean, I mean, you can give more, but but that's that's the money that's they can That's all you're get. asking. Yeah. yeah. Twenty. Perfect. It's Phenomenal. And if anyone has ever had any experience with a hospice house, it's a wonderful facility. It is. But what they do for the patients in there is just isn't remarkable. It, isn't it weird? Yeah. We said the other day uh, that there's a special spirit in that house. There it's really hard is. to describe, but there really is. There mm. really is. Yeah. And you mm. brought 
your this is bear. one of the things they do at the house. Um, a lot of people ask us, what's the difference between different hospices? We are the only nonprofit hospice in Harrison. And I had to spoke with the family yesterday, and they said, well, what's the difference? The difference is it's not a business for us. We're about taking care of the entire family. Mm-hmm. And the things that they do is there's a quilting guild that quilts quilts. There's a quilt on every bed in the house. This is one of the things that they do. If you had a family member in hospice and there was something special, they'll take that item of clothing and they'll make teddy bears for the grandchildren or, or the children. And the things that they do is just awesome. They will do anything that that patient needs. We'll try to find a volunteer that will help take care of it. We have a volunteer that's a massage therapist. We have a volunteer that's a professional violinist. We have, and the food is huge. What they will do is people in the community fix a hot meal every day and have it at the house for the family members. That's huge. When you've been sitting there day in, day out, you know, fast food gets a little old. And to know that it came from the community that's caring there, that that may not be able to be there for you, but they're still caring about you anyway. It's the churches, it's individual people, and it's just amazing the community support that, that just comes pouring out. I wore my obnoxious neon green, yellow, whatever color you want to call it, um, to Bible study because we had KHOZ that morning, I think. So I was running into class, and of course I'm running late, and I'm wearing this 20s plenty, and this lady goes, oh, oh, yeah, by the way, while you're here, I don't want to forget. And she gives me a $20 bill. Yeah. And it's about the community it's taking like care. Him. Yeah, exactly yeah. like him. It's mm-hmm. the community mm-hmm. taking care of each mm-hmm. other, and, and that's what it's about. Yeah. And it's just incredible the things that can be done. There was a story... I don't know if I should share this on TV or not. I've got one. I'm going to answer. Oh, that. that's even better. Yeah. yeah. Can you can you hook this to audio before we close? Oh, All we got to do is push. Yeah. Oh, you got Let's this. Can we do this? Yeah. yeah, sure. Can we do this? Yeah. It's going to be a 30 second spot. Uh, in the past, when we go to Rotary or Lions or Kiwanis, we'd make a presentation, maybe do a video. This year, we didn't do any of that, and then we came up with this. My name is Joan Miller, and I'm the social worker for Hospice of the Hills, and I would like to tell you Sarah's story. In August of 2011, I experienced hospice from a personal perspective when one of my dearest friends and neighbors from Newton County entered the hospice program. Sarah chose to be treated at home until the last week of her life when she entered the hospice house. There, surrounded by family and friends, two dogs, a personal violin concert, and a trip outside to watch the final sunrise from her wheelchair, Sarah spent the last week of her life. Sarah was a remarkable woman who received remarkable care from Hospice of the Hills. Please support Hospice of the Hills and the Hospice House Expansion Program with your personal gift of $20. Hospice of the Hills works in partnership with North Arkansas Regional Medical Center. Hi, I'm Jerry Jackson, asking you again to pledge $20 to this worthy cause. Call our 20 is plenty pledge line at 365-2020. Call now. That's what it's about. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mm-hmm. Isn't That's that cool. cool? That's our presentation. And I think the other day when we did Rotary, uh, that worked better than any presentation oh, sure. we've oh, ever sure. done. Oh, yeah. 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 Wow. And that, that's yeah. nothing for them to, you know, these dogs are my only family. It's yeah, yeah bring them. Yeah. That's how we're different. That's mm-hmm. what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. You can only use the hospice house if you're utilizing hospice of the hills. So please ask for us by name. That's You're pushing very that brand, aren't you? I'm pushing that brand. <laughs> yeah. I worked hard for that but brand for a long time. But you see what it does yeah. for people. So you, you and know. it's important. It's important. People don't realize what we do. They think since we do it, every hospice does it. Right. And they don't. Mm-hmm. Um, my family's from Louisiana, and I was the one that had to make that call. So I'm, I'm drilling them. I'm like, okay, do y'all do this? And do you do this? And mm-hmm. how do you take care of that? Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, you seem to be asking a lot of questions. How do you know all this? I said, well, I volunteer. And I've been blessed enough to be a, a part of this for a long time. And I start telling her what we did. She goes, you're kidding me. I'm like, no. She goes, how do you do that? I said, with community support. She goes, your community supports you? I'm like, yeah, we couldn't do it without them. Exactly. Every small town in the country should have a hospice house, and there's only 156. So. And wow. they work. 
They work. Oh, yeah. 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 They work. Yeah. Well, I mean, think okay. about it. Yeah. Much better There's than we no ever anticipated. There's no grant money or anything? That, no. That, no. Nothing. That's all. Awesome. No. So even this the is staff. It. This yeah. is it. The That's staff. It. Wow. The staff. The staff is paid for paid? by the hospital. Okay. Not a penny mm -hmm. of 20s plenty money okay. goes to pay for any yeah. salaries wow. or any administrative costs. The costs. hospital does receive Medicare, 95% of its Medicare, and it's a losing financial right. thing for the hospital. Uh, we're definitely, definitely non non profit. But they wouldn't receive that same care. No. I mean, they would get Medicare no. anyway, but they would not receive it if they the didn't have the hospice house. Well, and think about this. Most people don't want to stay in the house. Most people mm -hmm. want to stay at home, and that's what we're there for is to help them do that. Yeah. But yeah. let's say for some reason you have to be in the hospital. You're having problems with pain management. We have one of the best hospitals in the state. Mm -hmm. But think about it. People have to come in every so often sure. to do your vitals. There's beep, beep, <laughs> yeah, beep right, right. from IVs and things like that. There's none of that. You're in a household environment with people that love you. Mm -hmm. And anything that you need or want is going to be taken care of. And it's that's what the difference is. It's not that the house is just a small part of hospice. Yeah. But it certainly a home environment where any of your family, Jerry was telling us a story and I wasn't even aware of this one. There was one family that had 28 family members. Oh my. I was like, you're kidding they me. Stayed I have there for a big a week. family. Oh my lord. Wow. And it's not even that big. Slept on the floors and in the halls and, <laughs> and that's, that's why our expansion. Well, let, let's let's talk about the expansion. Yeah. So that goes right into it. Uh, you're full most of the time. Well, we're not full. We're we're empty sometimes. We're full the okay. next day mm -hmm. and we're empty the next day. But because of only having four patient rooms, we don't have any place for the family. And actually, when you have an average of about two because of the turnover, the rooms seem to be full all the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why nobody in the country ever had a four-bedroom hospice house. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Right. And, uh, but we did. And, and now we're going to have eight. And we're also going to have two hotel rooms that are going to oh, allow okay. family members to Good. stay in their, own, uh, in their own place there. So... It's going to be real cool. Good. Now, it's real this, cool going to real cool. This campaign has started. It's running now, and it's go, uh, what's the end October of the 19th is okay. going to be our final day. Of mm -hmm. course, we receive funds throughout the year, sure. but October 19th is going to be the end of that. Hopefully right after that, we're going to break yeah. ground. Mm -hmm. Good. Awesome. So, How can people give? 365-2020 is the number, and then your wonderful website. We do have a brand new website. It's fabulous. It has something else that no one else has. It has an encouragement tab where if someone goes into hospice, they can start their own blog, and they can say, this is how I'm feeling today. Mm -hmm. Other people can respond. They can load up pictures. You remember when we were six and, you know, stealing pears mm -hmm. out of mm -hmm. grandma's yeah. pear tree? Any kind of stories, it's right there on the website. Whenever they feel comfortable, they can log on and see who all sent them messages. Yeah. And then they can send out one blast instead of trying to contact 40 people wow. by email. Yeah. And it's, it's great for the family, too, because family can help maintain that as well. Can you make a donation on the website, too? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Right. definitely. definitely. Okay. In fact, that's the best place because it's mm -hmm. done electronically. It goes right into our bank. Okay. No okay. mailing. I don't have to haul these around. <laughs> <laughs> I love to, Dave Fitton. <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's a great program, and it's been going on for quite a while, and, and it, it impacts people. It impacts it all of us. So, uh, and it's easy to give, very easy to give, and we, we want that to be a success. Phase two of this is going to be starting real soon. And I want you to come back and keep us up to Please date do. on this. Yeah, we will. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. You yeah, twice, hey. two, two is plenty. Twenty is better. Twenty is <laughs> plenty. Twenty is plenty. Twenty is plenty. We'll come twenty times. Excellent. Thank okay. you all Thank very you much. Thank, Thank you very much. Up next, we'll be talking with Dave Fitton. He's going to be talking about the Teen Summit from uh, Navy. Stay with us.